Hi, I'm Dr. H2O, Tom Gleason's problem-solving alter ego. By the end of this video, you'll be able to solve the energy balance method for evaporation. We're going to use Phoenix, a really hot, sunny place, to, uh, as an example, in this calculation. The city of Phoenix wants a new water supply reservoir. And your firm, your engineering firm, is being asked to calculate the evaporation from this potential reservoir. The things we know about Phoenix is that it has a high, um, a relatively high average mean temperature of 21 degrees Celsius. We know the wind speed. And we know that wind speed at a specific height of 2 meters. We're going to talk about that in another problem that we're going to solve. And that wind speed is 0.7 meters per second. And a relative humidity in the area on a long-term average is 20 degrees. We also know uh, that there is significant solar radiation in the area. And we can use this solar radiation map to calculate the, uh, the watts per meter squared. So the first calculation that we're going to do is to calculate, it's just an energy, or it's just a, a unit conversion of uh, taking the, this photovoltaic solar resource map and calculating the net radiation. So first of all, the overall equation of this method. So we're trying to calculate evaporation. And as you'll see in this image here, I put the sun on the side. So what this method is really all about is calculating the evaporation due to the sun coming onto either the soil or an open water body. And what the uh, fundamental equation that we will have reviewed in class is, is the rate of evaporation, E sub R for the radiation method, equals R sub N, uh, where R sub N is the net radiation, over L sub V, and rho sub w, sub w, where L of V is the latent heat, and rho W is the density of water. So given what we know about Phoenix, we're going to try to solve this equation um, to solve for our rate of evaporation. So the first step, as I just mentioned, was to calculate the net radiation. So this is our R sub n. So we'll do this over here, R sub n. And this is just a unit conversion from our um, photovoltaic solar resource map. Um, we saw that the um, resource, average resource in Phoenix is um, 6 kilowatt hours per meter squared per day. And the unit conversion of this is um, 41.66. Um, and this is to convert to um, watts per meter squared, which is the units we want for uh, net radiation. And what we get then is that R of N is uh, equal to 249.6 watts per meter squared. And just as a reminder of, of units, uh, a watt per meter squared it, a watt is the same as a joule per second. Um, so uh, just a little reminder, and we'll come back in a minute, um, where watt is joule per second. So this watt per meter squared is joules per second meter squared. So that's our first variable, our R, R of n. The second variable, and this is an equation um, that was in your notes, is for the latent heat. And the latent heat of, of water is, is dependent on the temperature of water. And so we have uh, L of V is equal to 2.501 times 10 to the 6 minus 2,370 minus 2,000 370 T, where T is in degrees per C, degree C. And the units for this equation are in joules per kg. And we know uh, that Phoenix has a long-term average temperature of 21 degrees C. So we just substitute that in to this equation.
and the resultant value is 2.45 times 10 to the second, 10 to the six, excuse me, joules per kg. So now we have our second variable in this calculation. For our third um, variable, we already know that. We, it's kind of memorized on the, on the back of our skulls, hopefully, is uh, the density of water. So the density of water, rho w, is uh, temperature dependent. So we'll say here it's 996.3 kilograms per meter cube. So we have our three variables now, and we just substitute them in to solve over here for E of R. E of R is now equal to this 249.6. And I'm going to change the units um, slightly here. So I'm going to say joules per second meter squared. over 2.45 times 10 to the 6 here, joules per kg, times our density of water, 9.963 kgs per meter cube. We'll just do uh, kind of a, a unit check. Uh, we have joules on and uh, top and bottom. Uh, kgs uh, as well as um, meters squared and we, so we res uh, the result units is uh, meters per second and the resultant value is 1.02 times 10 to the negative 7. So to put that into units that might mean a little bit more to us um, that's 8.8 .8 millimeters per day. So what that means is that in Phoenix, the sun is evaporating water as a long-term average at a rate of 8.8 .8 millimeters per day. And with that, we'll move on to how wind affects reservoirs.